How's it going lads? Now we're here again, back with the uh, What's Sold video series. I haven't done one of these in a while, but this weekend was one of my best sales weeks ever. So I figured I'd show it off. So first thing I sold is a copy of Mortal Kombat Complete. I got this at Goodwill for buck eighty and sold fifteen. Next copy of Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, this I got GameStop was doing a if you bought five more games, they're all half off. So I kind of made some small orders just to try to make some profit. Nothing was great, but it was all still profitable. So Final Fantasy Tactics, that was one of them. I think I paid like five for it. Uh, this Pictionary game, um, I got in a bundle a while ago. It wasn't very good. It sold for five bucks, but good to get rid of it. Copy of Pokemon Silver. I replaced the batteries on these. These I also got from GameStop. Um, good flip there. Smack Out vs. Raw 2007. This I also got at Goodwill for about a buck eighty. So the wrestling games, I don't know if they're always as high. I think they're, some of them are pretty good, but they seem to be pretty good prices right now. I need to check the other consoles. Uh, the other Pokemon Silver I got, um, I think I paid like nine a piece a piece for those, and then added the cost of like a battery, like a dollar, so ten and twenty three decent flips. Uh, two copies of this sort of mana. I actually was considering keeping one of these, but I ended up selling both of them, so not bad. I think these I paid nine for two and sold for sixteen. Not great. Uh, this case is for Lunar Silver Star Story. I've had this empty case for a while. Um, front crack, not great. Obviously, I could have replaced that and probably increased the value a bit, but I was happy to sell it. Uh, I actually went to Canada, so that was fun. Uh, copy of Wii Sports. Um, this is the trend right now. Wii Sports is selling insanely well. Um, found that thrift store for dollar ninety nine. It worked fine. Um, and this is my lowest selling one of the week. I underpriced this for sure. Uh, Final Fantasy Four Advanced, another one of those I picked up. I kind of figured the Final Fantasies would sell well since the remake came out and it's really popular and it might pe make people want to try the other games. So that's so why I bought a few of those. RPG, like Final Fantasy RPGs on the GBA. Uh, NFL Street 2. So funny story about this one is I was buying a local pickup from someone that has the items later on I'll show off, but he had the case for Street 2, but he had NFL Street 3 in it, and at the price he was offering, it was worth me to get it. Then I went to a Goodwill and they had NBA Street 2, but they also had the disc for NFL Street 2 in it, so I was able to sell a complete copy, which I thought was kind of fun. So that sold for twenty five ninety nine. I think I paid like three bucks for it, so happy about that. This State of Emergency game PS2, not a great sale. Just I did a local pickup of some PS a PS2 and some games. This was included on it. Just helps reduce the cost of the system. The systems are going to get all my money back and make some, so fine. This uh, Sony VHS, I paid like six bucks at Goodwill for it. Uh, tested it, worked fine. Sold really quickly for you know seventy bucks, so not bad. Shipping was actually not too terrible on it either. A uh, copy of Wii Play. I, I had so many Wii bundles this weekend. I can't even remember which one it was part of. I think it was like a, it was like seventy five dollars. It had the Wii in the box complete and some other good stuff. Um, extra controllers. So that was happy. I was happy about that one. Um, we play selling pretty well now. It's not never going to be an expensive game, but it's it's desirable now, I guess. So that's good. Uh, I sold two copies of Game Party to the same person, which I thought was kind of weird. It must be a, a store or something where they could sell them for more. One for seven fifty. One for seven. I can't remember. You know, one for eight. No, I think he. I took an offer on seven for this one or something, but. Anyway, I need to take less pictures of my feet. God dang. I'm starting to feel skip bad. Uh, Golden Eye 2007, another Wii game. Wii game selling great right now. 13 bucks for that. Destroy All Humans 2. This I also got from um, the same PS2 lot. I got the NFL Street 3 in. The guy that was like 5 bucks a game. I got like a handful of them. Reduced the cost a little bit. Uh... This is sort of key with this one too, but I don't know. It's a game that I've heard a lot about, but I don't think it's my type of game. Uh, Ghostbusters on the Wii. This I got at Goodwill. So a lot of these Goodwill games, I actually got the Belgrade one, which I never find games there. 
and someone must have donated their collection or something because they did a ton of games that I picked out a few one day they were priced at six and then they got more the next day and the guy charged me a buck eighty for them which was perfect so uh, this is one I paid like five forty for so not make great profit but profit uh, another Wii Sports this one was complete and it sold it for twenty seven ninety nine. So much better than the one missing the manual. Um, yeah, again, part of a Wii bundle. I think actually this is the bundle that I got like a bunch of games and controllers and things, but not the Wii itself. It seemed like they were just selling off their extra stuff. Uh, Civilization Revolution, I got this in a pawn shop bundle, like three bucks a game. I was kind of just trying to increase the volume so you'd get a better deal. And you know, I made okay profit on it, not bad. Um, this Wii Classic controller. I think I got two of these, as in the, like the Wii parts bundle, but not the system. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 2, game part of that PS2 bundle. Not a great game. Over like three bucks plus shipping. That's what I'm trying to do. Is I find on cheaper games if I do it like that, where I charge at a really low price, but then add shipping, I see people we'll sell them quicker, and even for a little bit more. So I'm gonna try that a bit more now. Hey, part of the Deathly Hollows Part One. This is one of the Wii games I got for buck eighty at Goodwill. Um, the last two, I say the last three Harry Potter games seem to hold value. Maybe just the last two, but um, keep your eye out for those. Probably like sleeper games. GTA Five, uh, always a good one for resale. Uh, this I got at the Belgrade Goodwill as well for buck eighty. Sold for ten plus shipping, so. I'm not sure why I did shipping on that one. I think I just it seemed to be like selling like at that way, like ten bucks plus shipping instead of like for fifteen, you know. So I just price matched. Uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast Two. This is another one from the <clears throat> Belgrade Goodwill. Twenty bucks for that Dragon Ball games. Generally worth picking up. There's definitely ones I think aren't great, but you know, two bucks for. A game it's probably worth it if it says Dragon Ball on it. Uh, Just Dance 3, another Wii game. These are kind of spiked in value. People are stuck at home and want fun things to do and keep moving, so Just Dance games are definitely that. So if you get them really cheap, definitely grab them. Uh, some disc only Super Mario Bros. Wii. Um, one I got in with a Wii bundle, and I sold another one in a little bit. I'll actually show that that I got. Uh, I got a lot of Wii at the pawn shop and had Wii Sports and New Super Mario Bros. Wii with it, so 22 bucks a piece. This is the Wii Sports I got with it, you know, 25 for a disc only game. So yeah, I, I definitely had to price that one that was in the case without the manual. I mean, I think Wii Sports is the case manual that add a ton of value to it. Most people are fine with just a disc. Um, but yeah, these Wii games sell them insanely well. But yeah, it's like the Wii was marked to 75. He marked it down to 50. And with the two games, I kind of said five bucks a game, so I got the Wii for 40. It sold for pretty well, too. Uh, the other Wii Classic controller, these, I thought they'd be worth a bit more, but some controllers just hit and miss, I guess. So these ones are at 14. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, another one of that in the PS2 games. Two bucks plus shipping, you know. Not great value, but the actual little change adds up, I guess. And I know other resellers will generally do like, they'll set like a price for the, they'll sell their games after, like make it worth it. If it's below that, they'll just make it a trade in pile. I would do that if there's anywhere to trade games right now. I only have GameStops in my area, and it's just not worth taking stuff to GameStop. Especially now, they're charging like, uh, giving you a penny for like everything. I guess I could drive to like other towns but with the gas it's like is it gonna be worth it I'm not sure uh, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince this one did sell well on the Wii I'm not sure about other systems but it seemed to be an okay one played it for buck 80 got it for 10.99 sold uh, Mario Kart with a Wii wheel I did not spin this picture um, Mark, if you can have a Wii wheel, it seems to increase the value a bit. I don't know why people really want these. It's just a plastic shell, but people love them. So if you have Mario Kart Wii and it comes with a Wii wheel, 
sell them together, it seems to increase the price versus Minecraft by itself sells to great. The Wii wheel, it's not so much. Like, you used to be able to get like a buck at GameStop for them, not anymore, but good, good way to do it. Uh, Kirby's Up a Yarn, this one I got the Goodwill for buck 80. This one was almost not worth it. The cover isn't pretty bad. There's a hole there you can see. This is like one of like there's like two Wii games that aren't worth a ton, even though like they're from mine. Like it's Kirby's Epic Yarn and Super Mario Galaxy. They're not worth a ton. Definitely like will sell fast, but like they're just Wii games that aren't worth that much. Did I actually charge shipping on that? I actually don't think I added that into my profits. One sec. That might change things. Maybe this did better than I initially thought. Yeah, I did not add shipping into my calculation. So, okay, this is actually better than I thought. Um, I'll have to adjust that. Anyways, uh, New Year's 3 Most Wanted, PS2. This is another one of the $5 games I got from a local pickup. Barely worth it, but it seemed... I was kind of... I offered to pick this up, and I was kind of desperate for inventory. And then this weekend happened, I got way too much but anyways uh, this is another bad buy someone else is doing a local pickup on ps3 games i bought a bunch of them i thought the ninja gaiden games were worth a bit much a decent bit this one not so much so paid five for it sold for 10 i think i made like 50 cents on this not a good purchase but minecraft was definitely a good one 20.99 for picking up buying it for five so minecraft everyone loves it I think, it, I think this is a game that's always going to sell well on every system. I can't imagine. Uh, like, maybe handhelds, not so much. But I don't see Minecraft being a really dirt cheap game anytime soon. Um, this is something I got so long ago, I can't remember what I got it for. Um, I'm pretty sure just at a Goodwill or other thrift store for, like, a buck. Actually, I think I might have gotten this one in, like, for free at one of the thrift stores. I got, like... Sped 50, I get five dollars for free. So, at the most, I paid a dollar for it, sold it for 12. Not bad. Uh, this is one of the Wii's I picked up. Um, this one I actually got at a thrift store, and it was just the Wii itself. But I had all the cables and I had extra controllers from other pickups, so I decided to pick it up because I could tell it also had a disc inside of it. And I was like, okay, it's a Wii, it has a disc. For 30 Wii's are selling hot right now so even if the disc is worthless it might be worth it and the disc was Wii Sports so definitely was worth it at that point uh, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga this is another one of the $5 pickups case is kind of cracked but paid 5 bucks and a 15 not bad um, so I added an absolute boatload of Xbox controllers um, I save a bunch in case I get systems without controllers at like pawn shops or Goodwills or things like that or local pickups even um, I just had too many Xbox controllers so I started selling them I think I could sell them for more on Amazon but at the time I was just thinking yeah let's put on eBay it sells well and they do it sells for 19 bucks I think I have like five dollars into them at the most so good flips the Godfather 2 another one of the five dollar games I picked up didn't think this game would be worth 13 but Hmm. Hmm, sorry. Yes, it is. Another one of those controllers. I think I sold a bunch weeks ago that I, I'm kind of like keeping like a pile, and if I get like more than that, I sell them. So we'll see. Uh, Need for Speed Carbon Open the City. Got this a pawn shop for four dollars. Not a great flip either. Um, I really needed to copy Connect Adventures because I had to connect with that one. So I kind of found games I think would be profitable to add with that one to even reduce the cost because I don't buy Connected Adventures for five bucks. It's not worth it. So grab this one, got it for four, sold for 10, not bad. Uh, Dark Souls, this one I got, there's an online bidding place here called Belgrade Online Auctions. I won an auction there for an Xbox with a bunch of games to connect. Um, it had a 250 gig hard drive to my surprise and to my biggest surprise it worked flawlessly so that was nice and selling the games for basically gravy um, this one 10 bucks I'm happy with that Skyrim another part of that it's 750 happy with that 
Face Breaker, 750 as well. I'm happy with that. Uh, Battlefront 2, another one I got at a pawn or no, this is a good Goodwill for a buck eighty. That one's nice, nineteen bucks for old Xbox game. Always happy with that. And lastly, another Xbox 360 game from the online auction I won for seven. Not great, but you know what? Kind of making back the initial cost on that. So that is everything I sold. It was an insane weekend. Oh, like. 50 packages, some around there. So I am very tired, I guess. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, let me go. Oh, if you guys enjoyed this, if you did, please leave a like, comment, anything like that. Uh, follow me on Twitter and other stuff like that. I do some posts sometimes. I'm trying to get more active on it, but it's hard. I'm, I'm juggling three jobs right now, so. <laughs> Could be the content's gonna be very lacking until I can introduce one of those jobs. Um, but appreciate it. Love you guys. Peace out.